so as you can see over here we have started with the car modeling over here so let's continue it so we have modeled the tires in the previous tutorial so let's continue the things over here so now i'll go over here let's do some modeling for the back part over here i'll go into this we might need some references for modeling the seats and dashboard and all this stuff so i'll just select this let's extrude it over here i'll just weld it again select this extrude it let's keep on extruding this stuff over here in this way so let's select this keep on welding it so we'll weld all of this over here so once it is done now what i'll do is again i'll go over here go to the side view for this i'll just change the color over here so again i'll select this i'll slightly extrude it in this way i'll keep on welding it select this edge extrude it in the same manner keep on extruding it select the vertices i'll keep on welding it so i need to join the vertices once you are done now again i'll go over here so if you see this part so this has to be uh, joined over here so i can uh, use a target weld over here i'll just double click on it okay we'll just go over here and i'll do the target weld stuff over here select this drag it a bit here select the edges let's give one connect so again i'll use this target weld in this way so we have to make sure that this is in line perfectly so i can slightly push this push this a bit up over here drag it up make it straighter if needed now push it up in this way select this extrude it over here select the vertices i'll again weld it select the edges let's give connect <coughs> keep on welding it again select the edges again weld it so i'll slightly shuffle it in this way 
so we can <coughs> uh, make it in this way save the file once again let's select the edges weld it again weld it now will again extrude it select the edges shift and drag weld it and let's give one connect again weld it give one connect let's again go over here select the vertices target weld target weld <coughs> in this way so let's again save the file once so so we don't have the top view now again i'll go into this I can just go over here I'll put one loop over here and I can slightly push it adjust it in this way accordingly also I'll put one loop here down drag it in this way so this looks a bit of a sharp look over here also over here if you see this <coughs> part we need to just close this so how we are going to do it so let's select this extrude it can slightly drag it inside similarly so let's put one connect over here as well so let's select this extrude it till here so shuffle it in this way So select the edges, drag it a bit inside, select this, extrude it, select the, okay, we won't weld this right now. <coughs> 
slightly, I will extrude it out, weld this and now you can uh, just drag it, extrude it inside and weld it, that looks a bit better. All right, we will push it over here a bit. So, similarly, we can just okay, just weld it, <coughs> select the edges. We need some edges over here as well. So, let us put one connect, weld it. Again go over here, put one connect, and I will exclude this select this slightly, shuffle it over here, drag it inside and weld it, select this, extrude it, weld it, again weld it. So now I can, uh, what I can do is, we'll do the same process for this as well. So select this, and let's give one connect. So let's just weld it. target weld just slightly weld it we'll weld it in this way so once it is done we'll just close this area, you can just use a nubs toggle as you can see now. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.